OK, we've got here an example of a question where we're asked to make a small scale drawing. We're told that A is 4 kilometres south and 3 kilometres west of B. We have to draw a scale drawing using 1 centimetre equal to 1 kilometre and then we have to find the bearing of A from B and the bearing of B from A. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, to remind myself is I'm going to do a little compass in the corner here so that I remember. So straight up is north, to the right is east, down south and here's west. Remember never eat shredded wheat. Um, now I'm going to start thinking about what I've been asked to draw. And this is one of these types of questions where you need to take your time reading it and, and really carefully think about what it means. So A is south of B. So I'm looking at my compass. A is south of B, which means A is going to be lower down the page than B. So I'm going to draw a point at the top of the page here. And I'm going to call this um, point B. And it says here A is 4 kilometres south. Now it also said I'm using 1 centimetre equal to 1 kilometre. So I'm going to draw a line which is 4 centimetres in a southerly direction, so down on the page. So I'm setting my ruler up. Um, I've got zero lined up beside my point, that's point B, and I'm going to draw down to four. So I've got four kilometres south, which is four centimetres on my ruler, and I also need to go three kilometres west. West is towards the left. So I did four kilometres down, and I'm going to do three kilometres left to the west. Now when I'm drawing a line in this direction, it's difficult for me without turning the page around to put my zero at the point that I'm starting at. So what I've done is I've put my three at the point I'm starting at and I'm going to draw the line to zero because I know that the line I need to draw is between zero and three. So now I have gone four kilometres south and three kilometres west and so I should end up at point A. What I'm going to do to complete this drawing is I'm just going to join together A and B so that I've got the actual direct distance from A to B. Try to take your time with these drawings and draw as accurately as possible. Remember to always use your ruler so you get nice straight lines. Now I've positioned my protractor cross here is right on the angle that I want to measure. The zero line is lined up carefully with the angle on my triangle here and I'm measuring the distance, this distance around here until I hit my line that's heading towards A and I'm using the outside scale so 10, 20, 30, 40, I can see that's 40 degrees. So the whole bearing, all the way around from that north point to here, is 220 degrees. If I had a circular protractor, I could have measured that in one go without having to do this addition. So I've measured the bearing of A from B. Now I'm going to measure the bearing of B from A. So I'm starting at point A, so I've drawn in my north line. I'm going clockwise until I hit this path that we've just drawn. And so I'm just measuring this little small angle in here. So I don't need to add anything on this time because it's just a small angle. So I've set up my protractor again. My crosshair at this time is on A because that's where I'm measuring from. The line is lined up with my north line because that's going to start at zero. And I'm going to go along the outside scale. And I can see that this angle is also 40 degrees. So the bearing of B from A is 40 degrees. And that's me finished the question. Remember, 
Measure accurately with both the ruler and the protractor. Take your time to lay them down properly and read the scale carefully.